Today, I'm happy to announce the release of the Pixelink design system, Proteus. It is the design system built for modern, future-ready application design, bridging the gap, making it faster to deliver designs, more consistency across your designs overall, take your designs and then have them ready for development with our generation pipeline. These assets are ready to be connected into AI to help you generate your designs straight into code. So if you're wanting to get to know more about the Pixelink Proteus design system and what's inside of it, then you're in the right place. You'll be able to find the link to the Pixelink website and a preview of the design system in the description box below. So without further ado, let's jump into the overview video and we'll be able to run through what's included inside the Pixlink design system. All right, let's get into it. Wait, key thing in the video, I'll be also announcing a specific tool, part of the Figma community in there. We're going to be having a special hidden discount code. So watch your way through and when you find it, check it out. You'll be able to find the discount for the Pixelink Proteus design system and for our foundations as well as our pro. So keep your eye out, stay tuned. Let's jump in the video. Let's do it. This is the Proteus foundation. It is an enterprise ready design system to enable you to have multiple brands, multiple products, and multiple sub brands, all under one complete design system that you can manage. You'll be able to get the foundation file and you'll get a headless design system file as well as a utility file where you can have a lot of your utility variables and tokens. In addition, I also have a consolidated foundation file, which has most of the content from those subfiles all built into the singular. Let's go through what's inside of Proteus foundations here. File contains everything you need across, for example, all of your tokens or all of your colors, all of your typography, all of your sizing, scaling and grid needs, and also across your effects. And as we, let's say, we'll go into our color system, let's open up we can be able to look at the power of our token system by simply drawing a shape. If we apply one of our Pixelink variables, this provides us a complete set of token adjustments ready. We can take it from an active state to a disabled state. We can switch it back to an active state. We can choose, for example, to be bold or subtle. We can choose different types of elevations or depth to either showcase like an elevated or hovered state or to create different types of hierarchy in our design. We have also the ability to switch from utilities. So let's say we're in our main at the moment. I can go from my main and I can set up this color to be accessing from main the neutral set, which is great in this scenario, but I could switch from neutral into my primary, into my secondary, into my tertiary. I can switch this as well from my dark to my light. And I can also adjust this with the style from being a bold all the way to being a subtle. All of these are layered appearance adjustments so that you have all of those at your fingertips with one applied variable. So anything and everything you apply allows you to have complete freedom and customization 
all built in to every variable. For example, across our typography, we have our display, we have our headers, we have our titles, we have our body and paragraph and so on. A key thing to note is we also introduced as well our numeral based fonts for mono fonts, great for financial applications or applications that need to have consistent typography spacing. You have your mono space numbers and you have a mono space font for coding applications. So the design system completely supports any and all coding applications, especially since we're also got a large collection of AI ready assets and components in here. We have hundreds and thousands of different types of ready to use icons for all of your needs across all types of applications and a lot of assets to play with. So let's say we will jump into our demo. Over here, we can see we're in light mode at the moment. Everything from building kind of dynamic dashboard interfaces, from our finance interfaces, through to our AI chat interfaces, we can switch, of course, right back to our dark mode. So we have a dark and light mode ready off the bat. And when you do, we have our background, which allows you to switch Figma the complete page and the background will adjust and adapt at the same time with you. So you have that fantastic additional tool in here as you're using the Pixelink design system itself. As we scroll further down, we'll be able to access all of our AI assets and components over here. Everything from standard kind of AI inputs that can go inside your chat your financial application inputs, the toolboxes for the AI chats, as well as our coding AI chat interfaces, standard chat interfaces, AI generating code interfaces, and so on, with command tools, etc. We have multiple different types of our input fields, as well as buttons and switches, toggles, all of your typical component assets alongside some of our more complex assets like our tables and our calendars and our date pickers, our modal cards and notification cards, so on. In addition to those, we also have our graphs and statistics so you'll be able to find that you have a comprehensive set of stat cards and various different types of graphs and charts with multiple graph and chart assets and bars etc finally you'll be able to find in addition to all of these assets and components we have some of our more templated structures which you'll be able to find inside of our layouts where you'll be able to have your templated components, your header, top page bars, your different types of form fields, different types of side file sections and navigations, and different types of templated layouts and structures that you can use. There is, of course, you know, your menus, your tabs, your notifications. So please check out the file in the description You'll be able to also, if you want to play around with the variables, we have released a free community package that has a collection of the variables we have inside of the Pixelink design system Proteus that you can play with. So that is also in the description box below. Thank you very much for checking out the Pixelink Proteus design system and until next time, Design Thinkers, keep thinking, keep creating, keep building amazing things. In the next video, we are going to start creating some amazing applications together. Enjoy.